Hello guys, welcome to another video. First, I want to thank you all for your all love and support. We have reached 7000 family. So thank you again who have subscribed and appreciating my videos. That's all my all motivation to create more and more interesting videos for you guys. Now let's start with the today's video. So just a thought came in my mind that what if we have 100 of Python scripts running on the server and one of them gets stuck. There can be any reason, server load or DB load or anything else. Now we must have something which take care of this and we get some notification and terminate the script. So in this video, I am going to develop a template for this. So let's start. As you can see on the screen that we have three scripts. First is alarm.py, th second one is script.py and we are going to use multiprocessing in this and we have one more script which is main.py so in alarm.py we will create a code where it will check the expected execution time of this script and it will check in the background that the current time should not be equals to expected runtime and in the script.py we will have our actual script code you wanted to have and in the main we will call both these scripts so now let's back to the PyCharm. So this is my PyCharm and we are going to use Python version 3.7 and I'm going to create new project for this and uh, I'm going to name it as uh, execution check right and yes we have selected this 3.7 and I'm using existing interpreter hit on create and I'm going to open in this see, uh, same window and yes we are here and here I'm going to create that first script which is uh, alarm.py and here I'm going to create class for this alarm right and here we are going to have init method so init right and init method we are going to have time duration right so time can be in days hours minutes and seconds so here we are going to have all the uh, days right and it should be by default zero because there may chances we are not going to give days or the our script are not expected to run for days or hours so we should be defined some uh, default variable for these right so i am having days then I'm having hours, then minutes, and then I'm having seconds. Okay, yeah, and I'm going to register them as class variables. So days equals to days, then self dot hours equals to hours, then self dot minutes equals to minutes and then we will have seconds or oh, not seconds self dot seconds equals to seconds right I'm going to format it yes all done now I'm going to create another method to check the expected time or add the days are or minute if we are going to give and uh, so that time will be added in the current time so that we will have the expected time to finish the script so here i am going to have def get expected finish time right and here i am going to add the or uh, uh, if there is day hour or minute or second that uh, uh, duration will be added to the current date time right so what I am going to have here I am going to import date time module uh, from date time import date time and we need time delta also to add this so from date time import time delta also right so time delta we have so here what I'm going to have so from date time dot now we will get the current time and in current time we will add time delta as the days and then we have hours then we have minutes and then we have seconds 
right and here we will define our class variables as required so here will be days dot self and self dot hours then self dot minutes and then we will have self dot seconds right so we have this daytime added and we are going to format this uh, daytime right so i am going to format it so we have dot str f time let me just format it and here i am going to have the format i am going to have month then i am going to have day then i am going to have year and then i am going to have r then minute and then i am going to have the second right so this is it and i am going to return this okay so we will get this expected finish time right now what i am going to have so here i am going to create a method again which will check the expected time is equals to current time or not right so here i am going to have while loop so while two it will check continuously and here i am going to have the current time so for that also date time dot now right and i'm going to have now and here if now equals equals to uh the expected current time right so i'm going to have that also expected equals to self dot get expected finish time so if now equals equals to expected then it will print a message that script execution time is greater than expected right and this loop will going to be break so that's it so i'm just going to run this class so that we can have uh, are this class is working fine or not right so for that i'm just going to create uh, okay so no need to create uh, i'm just going to call this alarm class here and in here i'm just going to have seconds and in seconds i'm going to give five and uh, what i should have okay so i am going to have uh, a print also right so i am going to print uh, current time and the expected time so that we can compare yes the given uh, added seconds or days or time duration is working fine right so what i should do so here i am going to have print uh, now and the expected right so i am going to use this right so let me just debug this and i am going to have debug here i am going to debug it let's see what we will get okay so we are in the run and so i think we get some error yes we get some error and here alarm object has no attribute get expected okay so i have changed the spelling here but i forgot to change here okay so let me just debug it again so yes it's executed so let's see so in now we are getting 45 and here we have added 5 seconds and in expected we are getting uh, 46 seconds you can see right and when i am going to print this it will print here right so here you can see the 46 and 45 so let me just uh, format this also and uh, let uh, how i can have it so i am just going to close this and just copy and paste this here and let's see whether we are getting in the same format or not so yeah so now we are getting the same format so we have added five seconds in the current time so 19 plus 5 it's 
four seconds so our uh, this uh, expected time addition is working fine right so it uh, uh, so this loop will always check and it will just going to if uh, this now uh, is not equals to expected then it will uh, if it is not equals to now with the expected then it will again go back to the while loop but it is now greater than expected time so for to show you i am just going to have here greater than sign right so or i can just run this and let's see what is going to be print okay so it is yes so here you can see after five seconds it got break so yes our this alarm class is working fine so yes now time to create our script so for that what i'm going to have i'm going to create another file and naming it as script and in script again i'm going to create class script okay yeah now in this script we are going to have our actual code for which we are going to develop any project right so like right now i am going to create a main method here in which i am going to just have a loop so that you will have idea how both the scripts are working together using the multi process in the main script right so i am going to create def main and here uh, i am going to have again while loop true okay spelling is here and if i equals equals to uh, i am going to have millions and here i equals to one and here i am going to define i equals to zero right then if here i am going to have script is completed right and this loop also going to be big right so we want to develop a script where we are having this loop and if this i calculation is going to equals to this millions of count then it means our script is completed and this loop will going to be break right so yes now what uh, we need to do we need to just develop our main script where we are going to uh, call multi process so here i am going to create the main script so this is our main script and now i am going to import both these scripts here so from first alarm import alarm and from script import script class yes and here i am going to have main and i also told you that we are going to use multi process so i am going to import multi process processing right yes and here what i am going to have i am going to initialize the alarm class so and i need to save it in a variable so alarm and class and here we need to have the expected time duration so i'm having five seconds for now and then i'm going to create two process for both these scripts for alarm and another one for script right so p1 equals to multi processing dot we have this process variable and here i'm going to give target parameter and in target parameter you must have the reference of the method which you want to run with this process not the call of that method so how you can give the reference so what you need to do so i'm going to have script and for the script we have main method and what you need to do you just need to remove these parentheses from here right that's it and i'm going to create another method for alarm so multi processing dot process and here give target uh, okay so issue is here yes target and from alarm i'm going to call run and not the method the reference right and here i'm going to 
run both the process so for that i am going to have a list and going to add both the process in the list and then i am going to run so in p list and p dot start yes it's done now i am going to create a loop a while loop with true which is going to check whenever or if any of the process is terminated or completed with with its task right so for that here while true if p1 is alive or p2 is alive right so any one if any one of these are alive it means or not alive i should have false is false and here also is false right so if any of the process its p1 or p2 is done with its stars it means i should break out from this script right so if p2 is still alive or p1 is alive right so it means if p2 is done with this task it means p2 or alarm is reached to its expected time limit it means p1 is still alive which is the script dot py so here i am going to check if p is alive then p1 should terminated and system dot exit with error code one right it means we have explicitly terminated the process one which is the main script else if p1 is terminated by default or by itself then p2 must be running and we need to terminate this and system dot exit as zero uh, success code zero right and i'm going to just import system also yes it's done right okay so now i'm going to run this main script so let me just run this and let's see what we are going to have one two three four five oh yes so you can see it's just got terminated by the exit uh, exit code is one because the p1 the script main is taking so much of time because we have given millions of the count right so if i'll have just 10 let's see what is going to be happen so yes you can see now we are getting script is completed so friends i hope you really enjoyed this video i am going to have this project on my github account also link will be in the description box if you have any question related to this video you can comment down in the comment section you can join me on telegram group also that link also in the uh, description box you can join there and you can ask me over there also and if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe my channel for more interesting video and press the bell icon also so that you will never miss any update or new video on my channel so see you in next video till then thank you for watching jai hind